Hello, my champions and their parents. You all uh, know that your children can solve questions like this, right? If you if you if there's a children who's watching it, you know that you can solve questions like 16 plus 12, 32 minus 14. All that is like easy to do, right? That is not a problem. When does the problem come? When the problem is like these, right? Now, for example, 62 plus what gives me 91? 27 minus what gives me 19? Now, in these kind of situations, you're confused. Should I add? Should I subtract? How do I figure out what to do? Right? Now, when this kind of questions come, let it be in your, um, you know, um, competitive exam, Olympiad exams, or uh, in, even in your school mathematics. When it comes, uh, you are not clear. And this uh, problem comes to more in the uh, higher classes, like when algebra starts. These are all pre-algebra skills. And if you know these algebras, pre-algebra skills, algebra is going to be very, very easy for you. And if even if you're a student of a primary, primary class, if you understand this concept, you can do algebra in the higher classes very well and it's going to be very easy. Math is going to be fun for you. Okay. And how are we going to do it? Simple. To understand one concept and two questions that I ask you. What are the things? One concept you have to understand and two questions that you have to ask yourself. And once I teach you th those things, I will come back and let's solve these questions with those understanding. Okay. Now, what is that concept? The concept is called fact families. Okay. Fact families. You can consider this as just like a family. A family has a father, mother and a child, right? Father, mother and a child. Okay. This is a family. Right. Now, similarly, they have a number families also. For example, if you have a 3 and an 8 and 11. Okay. Now, if you see 3 plus 8 is 11. Right. You can easily see that it forms one fact. This is called fact. What is a fact? 3 plus 8 is equal to 11 is a fact. Correct. Fact means it is true. 3 plus 8 is 11. And from this family, now this 3, 8, and 11 is called as a family. From this family itself, you can come up come up with four facts. I could say 8 plus 3 is also 11. And you might say this is the same, no? 3 plus 8. Yeah, because it is commutative, you are saying it is same. But however, it is looking different, no? 8 plus 3 and 3 plus 8 is looking different. But yeah, it is same, 11. Now, other fact could be 11 minus 3 is a 8. Check and see. You will get to see. Yeah, it's correct. Similarly, 11 minus 8 is a 3. So, this was true. All these are facts. Four facts. Now, we say only this. Does it allow only for this set? No. You can take any other set. For example, 11, 20 and 33. 31, sorry. 31, right? Now, we see this is also a family. Fact family. How? 11 plus 20 is a 31. 31 minus 20 is 11. Basically, something around this only will be happening. Okay. If you see all these facts is having the same three numbers, but four different facts came. And out of that, these two are addition facts. Addition facts. These two are subtraction facts. Right. So, in a family of three numbers, fact family numbers, always four different facts will come. Now, there's a very interesting observation that you can do. What is that? If you see in the addition fact, out of the three numbers, so the three numbers are 3, 8 and 11, right? Out of the three number, the highest, greatest number is 11. The greatest number is 11. And in the addition fact, the greatest number is always coming in the answer after the equal to. That's an interesting fact to notice. Whereas in the subtraction fact, the greatest number is always coming in the first place, right? It's called suprahand place, suprahand, okay? If you have not learned that, maybe you can, you know, uh, suprahand it's called, okay? Suprahand, suprahand, right? Now, but at least you understand that it is that in addition, the biggest number, the largest number is always at the end, the answer after the equal to. And in subtraction, the largest number is always in the beginning. This is one fact, right? This is one observation. Now, with this observation, 
one more observation I want you to make. Next observation is, if you see, whenever you added, the answer was always coming as greater. Right? Answer is greater. So, if you want a bigger number, okay, if you want a greater number, right, if you want a greater number, you do the addition. When you want, when you have the, when you want a greater number, you do the addition. And if you see the subtra subtraction, both these numbers, 8 or 3, you know, surely it is lesser than 11. Surely it is lesser than 11. That means whenever you want to get a lesser number, you do subtraction. Okay. Now we understood this concept. There's a fact family. Three numbers follow uh, this rule. Okay. And the second thing is when you do addition, always the greater number comes as the answer. When you do subtraction, always the greater number comes in the first place of the subtraction state, statement. Right. Now when with these two things, you will answer next the questions you will ask yourself is whenever you have a statement, the first question that you will ask yourself is Do I will okay, okay, do I need a bigger number or a smaller number? That is what you will ask yourself. This is I told you the first question bigger number or a Smaller number. That's the first question you will ask yourself. In this place, do I need a bigger number or a smaller number? That's the first question. Next question you will ask is, to get that number, if it's a bigger number, okay? To get, now, to get that number, should I add or subtract? Okay? Should I add or subtract? Now, how are you going to decide that? We know that whenever we need a bigger number, we want to add. Whenever we, we need a smaller number, we subtract. Right? Now, once you have understood and realized these two things, then we are going to use the same concept to answer these questions that we saw previously. Okay? Now, this is the questions we saw. Right? Now, let's take the first question. This question. Right? Now, this is an addition fact. Then what do we know? Which is the larger number? Which is the larger number? The larger number is 91. Oh, good. I found out this is the, this is the large number. So what am I looking for? So the first question I ask is, what kind am I looking for? A, am I looking for a bigger number or a smaller number? That's the first question I have to ask. Oh, I know this is a bigger number. So I'm looking for a smaller number. Okay, that's the first answer. For getting a smaller number, next question is, for getting a smaller number, should I add or subtract? For a smaller number, we want to get means we do subtraction. Right? So, okay, good. I should, do, I should do subtraction. Now what I do, I take the 62, I take the 62, and I take the nine, 91, right? Now I have to subtract. Now I know bigger number is a, from which only I can subtract, right? So I know I have to subtract. That means 91 minus 62. I'm going to do that. And of course, we do the borrow and uh, all the stuff, right? We do, we get this 9 and two, 29. So, I know the answer for this is 29. Let's verify. Let's verify. Okay. Let's verify. 62 plus 29. Okay. What happens? 2 plus 9 is 11. And carry 6 plus 1, 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. Wow. I got the same 91, which is correct. Okay, let's take one more example. Let's take one more example. Uh, let's take this fourth example. I would want you to do the second and the third problem on your own. Okay, fourth question let's take. Okay, now what do I see? This is a subtraction statement. In a subtraction statement, which one will be a bigger number? Which one will be a bigger number? The first one, the subtraction statement, the first one is a bigger number. So, the first question I am asking is, am I looking for a bigger number or a smaller number? Oh, I am looking for a bigger number. For getting a bigger number, next I ask this, for getting a bigger number, what should I do? Add or subtract? I know only when I do addition, I will get bigger number. So, I will decide I have to do addition. Okay, now I know that I have to add. 
So I just take the 16 and 52 and add them. 16 and 52 and add them. I get an 8 and a 6 here, 68. Let's verify whether it's correct. Okay. It says here it is a 69, 68, right? It says 68. Let's see whether it is correct. Okay. Let's take a 68 minus 16. Okay. 8 minus 6 is a 2. 5 minus 1 is a 6 minus 1 is a 5. So fantastic. I have got this exact answer also here. So what about it was right. Now I want you to pause the video and go ahead and check whether you can do this. Pause the video and go ahead and check. Okay. However, now once you've done it, Let's see whether you have done it right. I am going to do one of those problems here, right? Okay, let me th take the third question. Okay, third question. This third question I'm going to take. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to first see. I need this. Okay, this is an addition statement. In an addition statement, where will the bigger number be? An addition statement always will be at the end. So this is the bigger number. Okay, good. So what am I looking for? What am I looking for? Here, this number. This number is a... Obviously, the 47 is a bigger number. Means the other number is I'm looking for a smaller number. Am I looking for a bigger number or a smaller number? First question, it's a smaller number. Okay, for getting a smaller number, should I add or subtract? We know for getting a smaller number, we should subtract. Good, we came to know this. Okay, next what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take those numbers. I'm going to take, take those numbers and do the do the subtraction, right? Subtract, we will do 47 is a bigger number, minus 11. Okay, I do this. I 7 minus 1 is 6, 4 minus 1 is a 3. I get this answer is 36, which, is, which comes in this place, 36. Let's see whether it is right. Let's see whether it is right. Okay, let's say 36 plus 11. Okay, 6 plus 1, 4 plus 1, 4 plus 3. Wow, I get the 47. See? It was right. It works all the time. So if you still not understood, still not getting the answer, you still have not got the answer 36, go back in the video and watch the concept and the two questions that I've told you. Once you've done that, you will know what to do when. Now, I will see you in another video where we are going to talk about multiplication and division fact families also that might help you greatly in building your pre-algebraic skills.